Hey, it's Chris Loud with another 15 minute warm up painting. Uh, I do these every day to loosen up and get out of my head so I'm not overthinking things and really just to play and have some fun. Uh, you can tell um, that I don't have a blank uh, sketchbook up there today or a blank piece of paper or canvas um, like I normally do. Uh, I thought I would do something a little different where I take a warm-up painting that I'd done previously and put aside and not really looked at and pull it back out and, and take a quick uh, look at it from a new perspective and just see if there was something there I could work with and then use that as my 15 minute warm up to try and make that into something more. So this is the painting here that um, that I had done this weekend and kind of put it away and, and really kind of had written it off and looked at it again and thought, uh, I think I can do something with this. So uh, what I do a lot of times to just kind of look at it with a new perspective is take a couple of pieces of white paper or a mat a uh, white mat and um, look at the four corners each um, individually and just look at those as if, as if they were their own separate paintings. And uh, this one here was the upper left. Seemed to have a lot of potential with this uh, reddish orange circular uh, piece um, as kind of a focal point. And then if you look at this uh, to the, the right of that, very subtle, very soft, um, not a lot going on, but, but it had some character and I thought there's something there I could work with. Uh, this piece, uh, this corner here, uh, has a lot going on, a lot of color, um, kind of busy, but again, I, th I think there was something there I could, I could have done something with. And then this, this corner here, I never noticed it before, but it almost looks like a, a wolf or a dog looking down. Um, but uh, again, looked at that and thought, yeah, I think I could, I could do something with this. So I stepped back and looked at the whole painting again, and here's that. And, and kind of looked at that and thought, I originally was planning on cutting it into four pieces and doing that as my 15-minute my warm-up, but this actually, uh, I thought I could do something with this. So um, this video is, is really showing that, kind of what I did. And I just want to show you real quick the areas that I, I thought I needed to work on um, to help uh, make this less busy and to help bring more attention to the focal point and what that focal point is. So right here, this, this reddish orange circle I thought would be an excellent focal point. It's got some great contrast with the black and on one side and then the lighter um, kind of beige and white on, on the other side of it. Um, this here, this red uh, portion, I thought needed to go as much as I liked it. Um, I just think it really kind of pulled away from, from any other focal point um, with that color. Uh, and then, you know, I, I uh, thought I would try and keep that dog head, but uh, I'm not sure I was, I was going to be able to do that. Um, because I do think even though it's very minor that the, the circle here uh, does kind of compete uh, a little bit for a focal point. And then this uh, reddish area up here that kind of follows this uh, black line uh, would probably need to go as well, or at least uh, lessened so it's not pulling any attention. So anyway, I'll get going and show you what I did. Anyway, after all that uh, thinking, um, I still wanted to not think too much and over think as I was doing this. Um, so as soon as I kind of looked at those pieces and, and realized some of the things I need to do, I literally grabbed this uh, black water soluble uh, pastel um, crayon and hit the timer and just went. Um, and really wasn't sure what I was going to be doing with these areas I was talking about. Uh, so just started playing and, and trying to see what would happen. Um, I'm using uh, for this painting uh, black, uh, Mars black, titanium white, alizarin crimson, and yellow ochre. And everything, so everything you're seeing on there is just a mix of, of, uh, of those. And then 
as well as the the black uh, water soluble crayon and um, I, I used a variety of tools um, from from paint brushes I think mainly on this I, I was using this is just a, a regular paint scraper um, and then I was using the silicone paintbrush a little bit and uh, although I've not used it very much I, I um, tried using this uh, fine tip applicator with some black uh, I think it has a mix of black and paints gray in it um, and and uh, I found out that I still need to to practice with that um, I don't quite have the feel for that but I, I do think it gave me some good lines uh, but I uh, did have to use the silicone paintbrush to move a little of that around and help with some of the, the little drips that I got but uh, obviously um, using my my hands as well to try and blend and you can't really tell um, with uh, the speed that we're going at here but uh, there were a few times that I did just step back and kind of look and give a little bit of thinking just to try and figure out what what a next step would be but again also looking at the timer and thinking I gotta I gotta get moving so but I I had quite a bit of fun doing this one and uh, if you've if you haven't tried looking at a painting especially one that you're struggling with by by taking um, pieces of it or I mean I usually just look at the corners um, kind of divide it in four and, and take each piece as a painting as its own painting um, I highly recommend trying it. It's uh, again just another way to look at a painting and um, with a kind of some fresh eyes and a, a, Another really good way to do it is to turn it upside down or do different orientations of it and do the same thing hold a mat up or some paper up and look at smaller pieces What I'm using now uh, for color, I'm mixing the alizarin, crimson, and the black to try and tie in um, a little bit more of, of some of the red that's that's around, but also needed to establish a little bit more black with that. It's kind of hanging out there right now by itself, that kind of central black portion of the painting. So uh, keep working at it, trying to. Uh, even that up a little bit and, and make it look um, less isolated kind of in the middle and here I am with that fine tip allocator and you can you can tell that I'm <laughs> having to cover some of it up and, and play with other tools with it if, if uh, any of you have used this before this fine tip applicator and have any best practices please leave them in the comments because I clearly need a little help with that. The dog head is still still there a little bit, but uh, it's starting to look a little different. And just wanted to try and get a little more white around that and, and uh, get a little more contrast around that that focal point. And then realized I really needed to try and get a little more dark in here. And unfortunately there goes the eye of the dog. So she didn't make it. And just again trying to uh, reestablish some of the the color in that, that focal point. But I definitely challenge uh, challenge you all to, to try this. Um, if you're like me, you've got some old pieces uh, laying around that you don't know what to do with and you kind of stalled out on them and this is a good exercise to try and kind of kickstart those. If you do, uh, leave me a comment and let me know what, how that went. I, I would recommend you don't do that to something you're working on currently, uh, especially like a commission piece. You don't want to do something like that, but uh, 
I'm sure you have something laying around that you could work on. And if you, if you like this, uh, feel free to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these. And I'll leave, uh, as always, in the description the, the paints I was using and the tools I was using. So you can check those out if you want to see those. But this is getting to that final point. This is it. I'm pulling the tape off and um, end up being quite pleased with, with the turnout on this. It looks a little different. And here it is in a little different lighting. Uh, but I think this is one that... Uh, is one that you can flip over and do different orientations and it it really kind of works with with each one of them so let me know what you think in the comments and uh, keep on painting and live loud <laughs>